Well, hello there, everyone. Dodgy Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, something a little bit different today. I've had a few days away from YouTube for various reasons, but I'm back. And uh, I made a promise in one of my earlier videos that if I reached that magic number of five subscribers, I would start a second series on Euro Truck Simulator 2. I reached that target, that milestone last week. So now, um, with the Italia DLC out as well, I thought what better time to start up a new series. So I'm starting this right from scratch as you can see. I'm going to choose as my headquarters here, Birmingham. That's the closest thing, closest place in the game to my hometown. Don't need to walk through the tutorial, thank you very much. And as we've got the Italia DLC, why am I starting in the UK? Well, a um, bit of realism. Obviously, once I build up my empire, I want it to be based near where I live. Here we go, a nice look at Birmingham. And um, in this initial part of the series, I'm going to journey, because uh, I'm just going to be able to do quick jobs. I obviously don't have my own truck yet. So I just want to do a journey. I'm going to take quick jobs from location to location and make my way to Italy. It's a, all roads lead to Rome, as they say. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So sand builders. Oh, nice design on that truck. Renault truck, all right. Obviously at a construction site here. Very short trip. I can see the gate right ahead. Good, so I'm not going to be silly and end up driving myself into a corner while I search for the exit. That's happened to me before. If I ever do an outtakes compilation, you may well see it. Okay, so we got right-hand drive, of course. Got to remember that after all that time on American Truck Simulator. Get myself on the correct side of the road. Okay, I'm just going to go after this Mini here. Nicely does it. Very short journey to start things off. It's amazing, isn't it, how, you know, you've just got a completely different feel. Essentially, if you compare this to uh, American Truck Simulator, this is the same game. It's the same exact thing. You're driving trucks, you're making deliveries. Whoa. I misjudged that turning. Sorry, I got... The, uh, on the navigation there, it announced that I'd uncovered a truck dealer. And then I almost missed missed my turning. Okay, just about recovered. Well, that was a pretty easy job, wasn't it? Um, whew, that's gonna that's gonna be a bit difficult for me, mate. I tell you what, I'm starting a new series. People don't want to spend 20 minutes watching me fail at parking. So let's just get this delivered, and then we'll get a new job. Get ourselves out of Birmingham. Nothing against Birmingham, of course. Perfectly nice place. Fully recommend you visit it. And there you go. We have made our delivery. Good stuff. Picked up 16 XP. Massive. 361 euros. Perfect. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, it, it is a very different look and feel. To American Truck Simulator, even though it's essentially the same thing, which is great. Oh, is that my car there? I hope not. I don't want to be driving around a Mini. I'm six foot two. Okay, yes, the garage is not much, but it's a start. Okay, it's a pretty good piece of land, though. I should look to sell this to some rich property developer. Anyway, so job markets. We're going to go for quick jobs. Obviously we're starting in Birmingham and we want to be heading south so maybe London or maybe somewhere like Felixstowe or Dover somewhere. so there's a job for London there, wooden beams 3,000 euros, that's pretty good the others Cardiff, Manchester, Sheffield they're going to take us in the wrong direction Cambridge we could do as well more for London, but obviously we'll go with the one that's going to bring us the most money. Okay, so we'll go with that first London job. Wooden beams, 22 tons of wooden beams to London. It's a road I've travelled many times myself, Birmingham to London, so 
Now let's see. Uh, let's have a look at our. Okay, so I guess my I need to make an immediate turn here. That's going to be fun. Okay, and off we go. Yeah, th this is one I mentioned before about getting lost. Oops, someone spilt wooden beams here. I'm just going to squash them with my truck. I've got new mail. Fantastic. Well, I've just hit the road, so it's going to have to wait. Yeah, it was in a similar place to this where I kind of went straight out of the parking space. And then I was like, oh, where's the exit? And then just a complete nightmare of trying to back up and turn the thing around. Okay, road looks clear. Pretty unusual for 10 a.m. on a weekday morning. Okay, I can't actually see if anything's coming that way. So let's just pull out. There we go. Damn it. Okay, I do have to remind myself that that large mirror is on the other side now. It goes right hand drive. It'll just be a couple of jobs like this, a couple of UK jobs, get myself from London onto the continent. And then we'll see how the what route takes what route takes me to Italy. Through France would be the obvious one. Oh, slow that down. Through France would be the obvious route, but I'm open to other things. If the jobs take me into Germany and through Switzerland and into Italy that way, so be it. Rome, that's our final destination. All roads lead to Rome. I think that might make a good series title. Now, obviously, as I am English, I am in a better position than I am on American Truck Simulator to comment on how the whole layout of it looks here. And I've got to say, it's spot on. I mean, this really does feel to me like I'm in coming up to a motorway in the UK. Just the, the way the countryside looks. The roads may be a bit narrower than um, I would expect to see. But yeah, as an entrance ramp. And then the way the road signs are, this is all spot on. Which is what we've come... Oh, better get off the hard shoulder there. It's what we've come to expect from SCS software after all. Okay, and we're on the road to London. I'm trying to change lanes, but... Okay, that car stayed back to let me move. Thank you very much. Yeah, the whole thing, the service stations, everything. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, police car out on the motorway as well. I'll just overtake you, officer, from the middle lane. Hope you don't mind. Don't think I'm breaking any traffic rules there. Okay, I'm flat out on the accelerator here. Looks like I'll need a downhill run to get close to the speed limit of 60 miles per hour, though. Oh, speed limit's just dropped. Okay, middle lane, that's what we want for London. We're not going to Sheffield. That would take me in the wrong direction. And we're not going to Cambridge today, either. Okay. Looks like I do have an exit coming up. Okay, it's the next one. Don't want to take that first exit. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that was not what I expected at all. Okay, here we go. Pretty tight turning there get down to London, onto the M1. Yep, 
yeah, so we got a circular exit ramp. And we are now heading south. There we go. Thank you very much. Do see more of those in the UK these days. Just not a hundred percent sure about the trees there. They've overdone the kind of evergreen pine tree, I think. Nice downhill roll. Although I'm still losing speed. Let's get back up and bring in the cruise control. Yeah, my uncle is actually a trucker. Has his own haulage firm. Owns a few cabs. Don't think he's online much, though. I'm not sure. He'll get on YouTube to uh, to see this. <laughs> but why would he want to if he drives trucks for a living? Probably wouldn't have much interest in driving them virtually in his free time. Or watching videos of people driving them virtually in their free time. So how are we doing for time? Okay, just over an hour. Just under 60 miles. So that's all pretty good. A nice short journey, I believe. And then we'll be on our way to purchasing a truck. I need to level up to the point where I can carry those high-value cargoes as well to get some money as quickly as I can. So I don't know, maybe it's because I'm level 1, but all the jobs listed back there were around 2,000 euros. As I got used to American Truck Simulator and, you know, being at a decent level there, getting twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 for some of the jobs. You know, I've just realized I didn't pay attention. I'm driving a Mercedes. Okay, come back up to 60 now. Okay, it's still giving me an hour because obviously that uphill bit has dropped my speed. And here we go, back to the rolling hills of the English countryside. Has that guy got his headlights on? It's midday. Oh, I was expecting a change in the noise there. Uh, near where I live in the UK, we have a road stretch of road like this, where the road switches to this kind of pale concrete. Um, and when you drive onto it, suddenly the sound you hear from outside of the car changes. And you often see people pulled over to the side of the road if they're like strangers to the area because they think something's up with their car. Because there's quite a drastic difference uh, from when you go from the tarmac asphalt onto this concrete. Um, surprised that there wasn't something, a change like that in the game, actually. Oh, okay, you know, we're enjoying the driving experience, so we'll let it slide. Now, what is that in the distance there? Some tall structure with a round ball on top. Okay, I've got an exit coming up. Better slide over while I've got the chance. Need some haystacks there in the farmer's fields. Okay, just going to 
let the speed drop a bit. Yeah, a bit of a tight turn here. Well, not tight, it's just narrow. Okay, I'll stay in this lane then, for London. Yeah, oh yeah, gonna take the next exit as well. Lovely. So I'm thinking on the channel as well as adding this Euro Truck Simulator. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of YouTubing a little bit. A bit more confident with the software. With the OBS and uh, YouTube and things like that. I'm thinking maybe a couple... Oh, switched on the indicator by mistake. Maybe a couple of other games. Uh, got some more driving games in there. And Football Manager is a passion of mine. I may be tempted to start a Football Manager 2018 series in the near future. Of course, it's all about time as well. Do I have time to run several different things at once? Probably not. My son, he's 11, he advised me to branch out and diversify, not just have one game on my channel. So, I'll take his advice. He is a heavy consumer of YouTube content creation, after all. Yeah, this definitely has a bit more of a southern English feel to it now. And it says we've entered London. Okay. Okay, we've got the skyline coming up. Oh, yes. There we go. Got the buildings of central London showing up immediately. The gherkin there. Let's take a look at that from outside, actually. Okay, very nice. In fact, that might be the point where, while we stop at this red light, I get today's screenshot. Oh, that's not a red light. Okay. Well, I'm, st I'm, I'm taking a screenshot, so... Oh, we've got the shard there as well. Nice. I thought that was a red light. Oh, I was seeing the red light, like, at the next junction. Okay. Let's bring up my sat-nav again. Oh, and there's a trucker transporting some trucks. Ah, oh, lovely. Roundabout. Oops. Roundabout coming up. We do love a good roundabout in the UK. I did not actually stop and look there. But neither did this guy with his Mini Cooper. But there we go. Nicely does it. But it might be a good idea if I change lanes here. So I can reach my destination more easily. Thank you there, sir, for letting me through. And I think... Let me zoom in there. Oops. Wrong button. Sorry. Okay. Do have to pass this roundabout, it seems. Oh, I, I think I may have just clipped another truck there. Sorry about that. I was looking at my sat nav. Okay, and here we are. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that one. Because it looks to me 
like I may have a, enough space to kind of turn around and go for it that way. I may not. Let's take it as wide as we can. Where is that parking? There it is. Haha, <laughs> I think I've done it. Just need that trailer to straighten up. It's not straightened up enough, has it? Oh, it has. Perfect. And there we go. First proper job done. Wooden beams delivered from Birmingham to London. Fantastic, and up to level one. There we go. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed that first episode of Euro Truck Simulator. Um, join me again soon, where we'll be journeying from London, trying to get, make our way to the continent. So, I'm Dodgy Gamer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.